I'm the fourth black female to go to space. Mm -hmm. and, and I remember when I was a little girl, there were no black ast female astronauts, zero. Mae Jameson, Dr. Mae Jameson did not fly until 1993. I was wow. 23 at that time. I think of how I was able to still dream about that was through popular science fiction, like mm. Star Trek and Lieutenant Uhura, and thinking, hey, you know, she's on the crew of the Star Trek Enterprise. I want to go into space and explore. And then having my dad tell me, you can do anything. I was born on Guam because my dad worked at the NASA tracking station during the Apollo missions. My dad passed away when I was 19, so I never got to really uh, talk to him about all the crazy things that he did during that time, you know, how he contributed to the advancement of human spaceflight. I think he would say, see, I told you you could do anything, you know, because that's what he said when I was a kid, you can do anything. Just put your mind to it and work hard, be, you know, persevere, determination, grit, all of those things. But the main thing is hope. Don't give up hope. Um, and, and even though you have setbacks, like almost becoming a NASA astronaut and getting that no phone call, I, I mean, I could have easily said that, oh, I'll never make it to space now. But instead I said, eh, maybe one day commercial space. And I used to tell myself that. And then commercial space happened and I got to go. When I got the no from NASA in 2009 for their mm -hmm. astronaut selection process, uh, I, you know, of course you're sad and depressed and stuff, but I found a way forward. I, I became an analog astronaut. An analog astronaut is somebody who lives in moon and Mars simulations. They basically advance human spaceflight, but here on Earth. So in 2013, there was a call out by NASA for people to go live in a simulated Mars habitat on the Big Island of Hawaii for four months. And oh, wow. I signed up for it and I did. I lived in that habitat. Uh, investigating food strategies for long duration space flight for NASA to help advance human space flight. And we basically volunteer to be subject matter, you know, guinea pigs to some extent <laughs> yeah. in these simulations um, so that when we go to the moon and we go to Mars, we have all of this data on crew cohesion and, wow. you know, how you live and interact um, and what's the psychology that happens when you put people uh, from different backgrounds together. I've been trying to inspire the next generation to dream big uh, my entire career mm -hmm. and so now to be that that role model and to be able to know that I'm impacting people around the world yeah. um, where they say wow look at what she did I want to be a pilot of a spacecraft yes. and and that just fills me with joy thanks for watching our YouTube channel follow Arizona's top stories and breaking news by downloading the 12 news app and subscribing to the 12 news YouTube channel